six, six points. <laughs> I just like saying it that way. <laughs> Even more stomach drop yesterday as a wild ride took the stock market down, the Dow down another 1,200 points. But there's a good explanation for the volatility. Just ask Sean Hannity. Because the Obama economy was so weak all of these years, we had just artificially cheap money. Now, what's cheap, mo cheap money? Cheap money is when you can borrow at ridiculously low rates. The era of cheap money at some point has to come to an end. Okay, so let's talk about today's roller coaster ride because the stock market is still going up and down, and it's a wild ride again. Two radio show uh, talk show hosts um, who inhabit different ends of the political spectrum join me now: conservative host John Phillips and Ethan Bierman, not conservative. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the stock market. I just don't think that it matters to most people, John. Yeah, boy, is that stock market schizophrenic? It's so volatile; it is. it's making Margot Kidder look stable um, oh, I, I think the fundamentals of the economy are good so the stock market's going to do what the stock market's going to do unemployment is still low consumer confidence as we saw during the holiday season is at record highs this real estate market is smoking uh, you have different companies giving bonuses to their employees because of the tax cut they're bringing their money back from overseas to the united states uh, sometimes you're going to have days like the day that we saw yesterday or the day that we saw today. But if the fundamentals are good, if the fundamentals are stable, I think we're okay in the long term. Do you think that's true, Ethan? Well, I think that there's a lot of truth in that, thanks to President Obama, who took us out of the Great Recession and put the policies in place that brought unemployment down. That trend line started in 2010. It sure didn't start with this president. So this all started because of President Obama, and we can thank him for that. But, but I think John is right, though. There are some really good positives that are happening that President Trump has ridden on and can't take credit for. And if he wants to take credit for it, then he can take credit for the 666 point drop. <laughs> yeah. Other things that might affect the, the stock market, though, right? The debt, right? Because, you know, to pay for these big tax breaks, the government's going to have to borrow money. That makes Wall Street jittery. So we might continue this wild uh, roller coaster ride that we're on currently on Wall Street, right? And also, if the government shut down, that traditionally has affected the stock market. So, we're not out of the woods yet. Well, and Paul Ryan has indicated that they're going to tackle those issues, and we're not just seeing that at the <laughs> wait, federal level. Don't. Wait a minute. We're not just seeing that at the federal level. We're seeing, seeing that at the state level. Jerry Brown just gave the state of the state address here in the state of California, and uh, much to the dismay of the uh, members of the state assembly and the state senate, he said that California, very blue, very liberal California, is going to have to handle their pension crisis, which we, in fact, have. So uh, that's something that is not new. It's something that we've had for quite some time and it's something that needs to be dealt with well and there's also the reality that what comes up must go down too I mean so there will be another recession and this is going to happen potentially under President Trump's watch and he can take wait, responsibility. Wait, you mean you think that a recession will happen? Of, co we under could, of course, because there's, there's just no chance that you have. We are on an expansion that is unprecedented in terms of the number of years that we have an economic expansion going on. Again, thanks to President Obama's response to the Great Recession. I hope you and send him a card. I will be sure to do so. <laughs> but the point is, is you can only have an expansion for so long. And then it's, as John just correctly pointed out, it will overheat at some point. We will have some large inflation. We can't have zero interest rates forever. And that's, I mean, that's right. the and reality. And let, let me just it. put my financial expert hat on, which I'm not. But if the economy expands too fast, as in if wages rise too fast, right, then inflation will set in. Interest rates will go up, and maybe there will be another recession. Then I guess we'll get tired of the winning. <laughs> um, look, that's something that's also been talked about for quite some time. The interest rates have gotten lower and lower and lower, and even liberal financial analysts said at some point the interest rates are going to have to go up but still go back to the fact that the fundamentals of the economy are good they're solid this is an aberration i don't think it's going to be a trend i hope you're right um <laughs> john ethan thank you so much for being with me uh should we check uh one